Hi everybody, it's Candia here. I'm back to share a couple books with you. Um, it's been a while since I've filmed anything and that's because I've um, been moving. I'm now look in Arizona and near Sierra Vista um, where it's a little bit warmer for the winter so I'm happy for that. Um, and I have these two books that I made for my cousin. I couldn't decide which one um, I liked better for her so I'm just gonna send her both and hope she enjoys both of them. So this first one, we'll start with that. This one I made with fabric. I used some Tim, Tim Holtz corner pieces here. I um, just did the uh, tie-in binding for this. Used a cro crocheted center flower from this piece, crocheted piece. And have a little bit of twine that I tied to the binding so that way it wouldn't get lost. I sewed around the edges with like a, a flower um, stitch. And let's go ahead and hop on inside. Now I have this pretty, well first of all this is a pretty brocade fabric that I thought she would love and then I have this um, little pocket left over from something that I thought would make a cute pocket in here also brocade and it's fabric inside and then there is um, some cardboard in between the, the fabrics use this um, edging here to um, make a nice edge for all the seams the first signature um, is just full of yummy tea dyed papers, um, a few envelopes, um, all just, this is all left kind of plain because she likes to write. Um, here's the other side of the envelope that I may look pretty with a doily and a piece of paper there. Um, so that's I, an envelope I made put in here. So I've left it all for her to be able to use, to really use as a journaling book. Um, this signature is just one little folder so she can tuck stuff in here. I made a flower with some organza and a button, an old vintage button, put some more of that trim on it, make some Tim Holtz um, tape here there that uh, I can't think of what it's called film strip there we go film strip tape and then the third signature I use this very old um, vintage envelope I, ha I had and I cut it up it was one of those large envelopes and I used just one side of it because the other side was pretty trashed but it, I thought it was really neat it says Belmont Agency and it was a, had photos in it from Seattle and um, some more tea dyed papers, some graph paper. Um, used a, in this one, I also used a piece of music pa sheet paper. The cover, or not the cover, but the inside first page. Some pretty. Um, wrapping paper that I, I liked that I thought went well with the colors and again more tea dyed papers another little envelope she can tuck things in too and so again lots of writing space for her and then I made another um, pocket on the back side with a tag in it so that is this little journal book for her to use and then the second one is quite a bit larger. It has see, nine signatures in it. So she can really get in there and do lots of journaling with this one. This one is a little bit um, more special because this is a piece from a quilt that was our grand great grandparents that used our family used to have a cabin up in Washington in the mountains. And um, this quilt was there that had been made over a hundred years ago when my great grandparents were the ones that owned the cabin. And I cut up, it was really 
threadbare and not any use anymore so I cut up pieces off of it that were good to use and this was one of those pieces off of there I just thought it's beautiful with the feathers and my cousin loves feathers and has been collecting them so I thought um, in my it was a nice personal um, family heirloom reference to something she really enjoys and I did some dangly um, feathers here on the spine I added some vintage buttons along with this um, crocheted lace that came from a shirt and you can still see some of the binding stitches there on the edge but the rest are underneath this one and this is some medical tape that I had gotten that I colored another piece right here of that crocheted lace that I got off a, a t-shirt and then some pretty green crocheted lace that I had now on the inside here I put a paper bag on both the front and the back this um, is something that was our grandmother's that I included in here with some more of that crochet t-shirt lace and then glued that together on the paper bag to make a little pocket there this again is another plain inside so she can do lots of writing in there's um, oops that got put in upside down accidentally there's um, lots of papers in here some that are all vintage you know ledger and inventory sheets um, a few decorative papers that go with a the theme so so that's the first signature and then in between every signature I have a pocket made with either file folders or um, this one happens to be made from I left and I left that so it opened there so we got two pockets here I was doing made from um, an actual folder not a file folder but a folder where you keep your papers in <laughs> I can't think of what the name of that is <laughs> anyways um, and then here's the next signature full of pages for her to write in with lots of old paper and all of these got put in upside down accidentally but she can still use them to write on here's the next one it's a file folder that I folded in half and then folded over both of the sides to make pockets and then in the center is another pocket so there's room to stuff little things in here the mementos of stuff she writes about and the next signature is more papers lots of fun graph papers and and um, pattern papers and then here's the other another one of the folders and then oh here's one that got put in correctly <laughs> not upside down uh, so you can see there's lots of ledger paper just tons of writing space I know she loves to write here's another file folder that I folded in half whoops and I put a couple of cute um, hit, um, clips in here that went with a the theme of arrows they were all, they're all different arrows because there's lots of arrows in the papers that I chose all kind of rustic um, Indian she likes Indian blankets so the, the Mexican blankets so I thought that this would be nice for her to have um, a fun journal and then here's another one of the um, things from my grandma I'm not sure what they're called but they used to use them to hold their scarves and then not another tuck spot and another paper bag for here for tucking stuff in and then on the back I just left it all plain with this pretty paper so that is these two books that I made for her I'll be sending them off here soon and hope that she loves the surprise and uh, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time bye